All your matches today have been super close. Yeah. It's been like. The tournament's good. There's gonna be no easy matches. Just gotta keep working through the day. It doesn't matter if you win or lose. Just make sure you get good matches. So we just had a long day of wrestling. Kids got a lot of matches. Ethan and Xavier had four battle matches, which were great. Every single match was tough. A lot of our noobs, for the first time, saw a national level competition and got a wake-up call. The little guy, Colton, he had a heartbreaker, man. He like lost his mind. But this sport does push you to the edge. And uh, suck it up, Buttercup. You'll get better. Keep, keep going. Quick, I didn't get to catch all his matches, but I think he went three and two on the day. I was happy that I was able to hold him down. He just kept on, I tried getting up, but he just kept on bringing me down. So now we are off to dinner with the squad. It's kind of in your face. No, I kind of heard what you said. You enjoying your pizza? Uh, no. I got the basic chicken tenders and french fries and cheese curds. Just a burger and fries. Uh, dinner is good. It has been a nice, polite conversation. We're going to enjoy our meals now, and then we'll go back to the hotel for some hanging out. Hola! My exposure. Oh, uh, if any college coaches want to find me, I'm 14. I just went 0 and 4. <laughs> really? Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> what did happen? Guys, yes, there seemed to be some pandemonium going on in the hallway last night, if I remember correctly. What do you mean? Pandemonium. Oh, complete you. chaos. Yeah. Well, Matt was being so mean to me, so was Jay. So um, my iPhone's about to die. Matt has 39%. I said, you mean the charger at 40? So it gives me the charger. They keep unplugging it. They keep slapping me. So I start slapping back. And then we start getting into a fight. And I said, 9 p.m. sharp. And then we settled it. I won the fight, of course. You scrolling through TikTok during the interview, bro? No. I'm not texting anybody. Oh. What is this? Nothing. Xavier's blushing. He's texting someone special. Oh, oh, he's leaving the interview. All right, before we go back, let's tell the viewers who you're texting, please. They all want to know. I want to know. If you check episode five, you'll know. You have a girlfriend? He got one that he gets like googly eyed over every once in a while, you know. You think you know me? You guys talking about bikes? No, we're talking yes. about pedal bikes, actually. Yes, bikes. Oh. No pedal bikes. Bikes, you, whatever. You think he's a good biker? You think Cam's a good biker? Mm, I, I have to see it to believe it. Oh, you will Maybe, see but it. I 50% I believe it. Well, do you watch the grind? Yes. Basically, when I'm not wrestling, I'm mostly out riding bikes with my friends. Do you think Cameron's a radical biker? Worm, you mean Wormway Cam? I think that kid could wheelie across the country if he wanted. Should we shout out his Insta? No. Give <laughs> him some followers. All right, so fine. Shout out his Insta. I don't know what that is. I, I was pointing to where it's gonna be. Oh yeah, right here. It's like right down there. Follow Cameron on Instagram. Yeah. Okay.
This is a bit distracting to the rest of the students. Got a picture? Yeah. I'll... All right, I'll go get my phone. I'll, be... I'll go get your phone. Who wants a picture? So we're gonna take a picture. Okay. Yeah. Hey. 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 Yeah. All right, guys. Smile. So you've got another match coming up. What's going to be your strategy as you approach this next competition? I'm going to try and take him down because my best position is on top and I think I can pin him. What's your favorite move on top? Cement. The cement mixer? And uh, what weight do you wrestle? 48. Alright, well I wish you luck in your next match, okay? Does Russ always win with the cement mixer? Always. Ten, down 10 nothing. comes back, throws it, beautiful. Russell, that's my boy right there. That's my boy right there. He's the star. Not really, but yeah. You did the cement mixer, just like you said you were going to do. <laughs> you must practice that move a lot. Yeah, I know. Anything else you want to say about that match and the competition you faced? No. All right, thank you for the opportunity to interview you, Russ. Let's try to look for a pin to get us 13 points, okay? What's the game plan, coach? 
<laughs> Have fun. <laughs> Let's go. kid's intention is ever to hurt another kid in this sport. You know, you're not you're wrestling to just win, uh, not to hurt them. So when they start kind of like yelling out in pain, it's like, uh, you feel bad. Even though it's your kid winning, do you still feel like kind of? thousand percent. Do? Absolutely. I was looking at Sean Hauser like, oh, I can't even watch. So that motherly instinct applies to other kids as well? Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> we gotta go to the different dance. We hit an interview as we're walking. Let's go. We always need that good content. Something happens. Put your hand on the mat. Like I do a sick backflip out of nowhere. I do that a lot. Question for you. What? You need to spend six months on a deserted island with one other member of the grind. Who would you choose? Not Tyler, because he's stupid. Not Maddie, because he's like, I don't know, he's Maddie. I feel like he wouldn't survive. Can't, oh, maybe? Think about it, maybe Jay Quick. He's a super picky eater. So I would be eating all like the snails and the disgusting stuff. And Jay Quick would just starve to death and then I could feed off him. Yes. Wait, no, but then he might kill me because he gets really aggressive. Who's another picky eater that I can beat up? Uh, Nobody, cookies and cream, dipping dust. Uh, Superstar. Wait, my dad's a part of the grind, right? Yeah. He would sacrifice his life for me. So my dad. Because he would just like sacrifice and not eat, and then it would be sad, but I have to feed off his human flesh. Weird thing to walk in on, right, man? Yeah, I don't know. Jason Quake. So you have to choose one member of the grind to be trapped on a deserted island with. Who would you choose and why? Ethan. Why? Because he's interesting. He wouldn't be boring like Matt. Matt would just sit there depressed, crying in a hole. He originally said you, but then he took it back. That's that's cannibalism. I don't think I'm gonna do that. Yeah. Oh. Well, this girl. Anything? Oh. Uh, you know, maybe. maybe this guy. He's a cool guy. This guy would be cool to have with me on Desert Island. You know, no, he's he's big one. enough to be useful, but small enough for me to dominate and make you all the work. Exactly. Yeah, you could kill him easily. He's Jason, Layton. He could teach me how to wrestle on this hand. How are you gonna pay him for his private lessons? In, in coconuts. We have a fan that I directed here. What's up? He's a big fan of you. Well, he likes me better. He found me first. If you had to be stranded on a deserted island with one star of the grind, who would you choose and why? Myself. All right, Jay, we had a first period pin, textbook crab ride, just the way Jason teaches. What do you have to say about that? Not the much. This season, what Coach called me, beat the kids, just like what you're supposed to do. 
<laughs> Eat the kids like you're supposed to do. That's the goal. <laughs> Why do you think this loss in particular was so hard for Matt? Um, because he just beat this kid in Tulsa. 
um, it's just one of those ones where they're very evenly matched. And you know what it is, is that once somebody wins a match, a kid wins a match, they want to just end it there. Like, I beat you and I'm done. So. How recently did you beat that kid? Maybe like a week or two ago. So you, you guys are neck and neck. So those losses are always going to be hard. Yep. So. So this is the kid he wrestled at the last spooky. Yes, yep. Yeah, that you did the little piece on. Yep. Okay. Yep. The Maryland kid. This kid that comes wrestling right now is a Maryland state champ. Um, he, he beat him in Summer Nationals a year ago, and then uh, the last two times, Ham has lost. Ham put himself in bad positions. He kind of lost the match for himself. But um, I think he's got him today, so let's, we'll see what happens. I think he's got him this time. I really think he's got him. That was good. So close, Will. Oh, I'm so pissed. So pissed. We'll get him next time. That's all. We'll see him again. We'll get him next time. I definitely gonna beat him. I had a couple chances. I got him through his legs. I just, he's having trouble finishing. Uh, I need to work on my bottom. So he kind of rode him, rid me out. Um, I couldn't turn him on bottom. He was very tight up here, boxing me out. And uh, I really had no leverage on him. But um, yeah, I should have definitely won that. I had two chances to to score and change the match, but um, yeah. Interview. What an absolutely spectacular display of athleticism. What do you have to say about your performance? Um, I don't really know. <laughs> awesome job.
just telling me how much he loves his job <laughs> because in his words, I've given him a cast of psycho people to film. <laughs> and his only job is to document the psycho people. Yep. These psycho people are our friends. Now but you would think if you saw a little kid crying, right? Oh, I should go and console him. Not my job. <laughs> Make sure you're getting good audio. <laughs> Like this video, please subscribe. Hope you guys are enjoying this. Desire. Bye.